Spike in the punch. <laughs> what is it? Two, one, happy new year! Oh, guys, it's too quiet in here. Oh, <laughs> no, Tony, go. You want reality? Yeah, reality. I just okay. said my reality. Cops are gay, Whoa. teachers are retarded, everybody's stuck up snobs, everybody drives a BMW, everybody's got money but they have no common sense, no, they're I'm worthless pieces of shit. Oh. The city has everything. way too much money yep. to do anything, but they really don't put it to the places or the schools or anything that needs it. They all want to hoard it. Uh, what do you want to say? The mayor's retarded, the board's no, retarded. <laughs> The roads are still gay. Look, it's snowing and ice. And they didn't even want Hooters Trump. next door. They didn't want Hooters. I mean, did. <laughs> Can't even have a Hooters in Troy. You just, it's too tacky. No, I mean, look at everybody else. Seriously, it's like, well, I don't know. I'm not going to name names. Mm -hmm. But Troy's pretty spoiled. I don't think they're spoiled. I think, yeah, I think they are rather privileged, a lot of them. Uh, I don't think they're spoiled. Most of the kids that I've had here, I find if they do have money, it's kind of new money. So compared to other areas, like I live in Bloomfield Hills, and that's an area with old money, you find the kids are, the kids are extremely arrogant, very jaded. Um, it's a different type of suburb than Troy is. Troy, the kids are, um, they're still climbing. They wanna, you know, they wanna do better than their parents did. So I don't find them really selfish or spoiled anyway. I have a car. <laughs> I have an Audi A4, but I can't drive it until I get all A's and B's. So I have to drive this ugly bug until I do that. Biggest issues. A lot of shoplifters. We occasionally get our major crimes where you happen to be the fifth safest city in Michigan, or in the United States, by the way. Um, drunk driving arrests. But those are actually probably down lately because people are kind of torn it down, not like the old days. White suburban kids go down to Detroit and cop mm. heroin. I'm not talking weed. They go, weed is out here. But you'd be surprised how many kids go down there and cop heroin and crack because they got the money. I think like nothing happens in Troy. So when something does happen, like there's a party, then like everyone knows about it, and then the cops come, and then everyone gets MIP, so then everyone like talks about it forever. We write a lot of those because we have the time to do it. I'm telling you right now, when I worked in Detroit, never wrote one ticket for that. Never got involved in. It. I was too busy arresting people with crack and heroin, and guns and stolen cars and beating each other, killing each other. Here we had the resources, we had the time. Well, I work two days a week, so on my work days, obviously, I get up and go to work for a dentist, and I'm there just till 4 o'clock, and then I um, come home, and I usually make dinner, and my husband gets home late, so sometimes I eat without him, and two or three times a week, I usually go to Lifetime Fitness, so I do that. My days off, um, like today, I usually run errands, and my mother's 88, so I take her to doctor's appointments, and I get her her groceries and things like that. I don't even know what my dad does. I don't know. I, my mom doesn't work. My mom doesn't either. Um, my dad. My dad's a salesman. I really have no idea. He goes to work at And he comes back at 6. So I have no idea. They both work far away. <laughs> um, my dad works for GM and my mom works for Ristian. I came to Troy, Michigan because of a job. Um, I finished seminary and I was looking for a full-time uh, ministry position. Troy is known as ethnicity because we have so many immigrants that come here. Uh, at Troy High School, we have 63 different languages being spoken, and we have you know a huge Asian population particularly, although we have people from every place. Well, I always wonder what they're saying. <laughs> and I don't speak anything else except for two words of Spanish, so I'm kind of at a loss, but you know, why not? I hope they can speak English because I can't speak whatever they're speaking. My experience, you'll see a bunch of uh, Hispanic guys rolling down the road in Troy. I don't even bother because I guarantee you they're they're going to work. Uh, I mean that they're going to work. They're hardworking people. I'm not sure if they're legal. <laughs> but mm -hmm. Really, I mean I don't even I don't bother. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. another reason I don't like Troy. Because we're all too foreign smart. people. No, there's too many foreign people. <laughs> You know, most people want to leave Troy, and I do too, 
but I just don't know where yet, so that's why I've been here for the past uh, almost 20 years or something.